Are you looking to go from basic two strand twists to a really cute wavy hairstyle? Well, before I show you how I did that to my hair, go ahead and like this video, comment down below, and subscribe if you're feeling the hair content. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, y'all. All right. I'm taking these bad boys out and you're about to witness what it looks like. And I'm kind of scared. But um, yeah, so I've had these two strand twisty lockies. As you can see, look at them. Y'all, I was really scared to get this style because my hair is still pretty short and my loctician she just encouraged me like when I was getting these that I wasn't really going to have a lot of length but I was still going to be able to get the style so I'm happy that the style came out good but I will try to insert a picture right here and show you just how short it actually was when I first got it done um, compared to now like it actually has some swing time to it some swing so um, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking it out but as always if you are new to the channel hey I am Jasmine Walters and I create faith lifestyle and femininity content here on YouTube and I guess the hair falls into lifestyle so that's what we'll do but this is going to be me taking out my two strand twist locks and seeing what they look like completely unraveled. Leave a comment if you have locks let's go ahead and start taking these bad boys out. Alright this is number one. I'm trying not to do too much on the curl but just kind of like unravel where I feel it linked together oh all right that is number one y'all we about to be cute okay we're about to be cute so let me just go ahead and show you I'm gonna start at the ends and they do have rubber bands on them the only reason I'm not gonna use a comb is because I don't really want to damage my lock too much. So what I'm gonna do is, is just kinda like, you see me here pulling the knot that is in the rubber band, like the loose ends of the hair, and just kinda breaking that rubber band off of there, gently like that. But I will say this is pretty fun. As you can see. <laughs> All right. Like, wow. Okay. There. Look, y'all. Look at that. Oh, we're going to have some hang time. We're going to have some hang time, y'all. <laughs> I'm like looking at myself in the mirror, but let's go ahead um, and keep moving. All right, so had to put some clips in because this hair is thick, y'all. I just kind of split it down the middle and we're going to go. Yeah, we're just going to. We're going to do both sides at the same time and yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do both sides at the same time. So it's all just kind of unraveling and stuff. But maybe I should do one in the front just to show you. show you what it's looking like so showing you how I'm taking it out just kind of unraveling it out of the rubber band and pulling the rubber band off there. Where's it at? oh it's on the end there probably gonna have a lot of shedding Voice over time. 
I love doing these voiceovers for y'all. I wanted to pop in before I get to the halfway mark of how it kind of looks like in the back taken down before I get all the way to the front. And I wanna know down below in the comments for my ladies with locks, do you prefer to just get a retwist or do you prefer to get your hair styled every single time you get a retwist? Also, I wanna know if you do your own hair or do you trust in your neighborhood loctician to hook you up every single time you need your hair done? I know for me, I need my loctician. She really is the gem in my life and she keeps my hair moisturized and healthy. But I will say I was afraid to get styles before I tried this style. I just like the basic retwist and this style held up for two months. So I will get it again. So this is currently how we are looking. I figured that I would like <laughs> take one by one out and unravel them and show you how pretty they are, but y'all, We'll be here all day, so my plan of attack is just taking the rubber bands out and then I'm gonna unravel all of it at once and then we're gonna just kind of fluff it a little bit. Um, but I kind of want this to be like a, I'm taking them out and then I can kind of show you what it looks like um, in the next couple of days. So here's what we're working with in the back. Here's what we're working with, kind of fluff. And we got hang time, y'all. That's all a girl could ask for is hang time. And like real hang time, like pretty hang time, okay? All right, y'all, I have made it to the front. And as you can see, we're cooking with gas. A lot faster way to just take the thing out and take the rubber band out. Instead of individually unraveling them, they're gonna unravel themselves either way. And I am filming a little separate video so I can have like a little YouTube short on taking it down. So that's, you see me looking down. That's what I got going on. Cause I wanna give you all more hair content. These locks are just growing and they're flourishing. And I'm just so happy that I really took care of them like in the early phase. So now they got a little length to them y'all and And I'm not tenderheaded either, so that is definitely not hurting. But comment if you're like, if you're tenderheaded or what not, cause I couldn't imagine being tenderheaded with locks, y'all. Ooh, that would hurt. I know it would. So um, if you're still watching, if you're still following along, let me know down in the comments how long you've had your locks. If this is your first, second, third, 10th time having locks in your head, let me know down in the comments, y'all. And definitely comment where you are from, where you're from. I'm repping from Florida, the Sunshine State, Duval, okay? And so I would love to know where your hometown is, where you reside at, and why you got locks in the first place. So let me know down below. But we're almost done taking these out, y'all. And they're looking pretty, pretty decent. Like, we might have a second hairstyle out of the first hairstyle that we had. Let's see. Just 
gonna show you up close that's me taking out the rubber band it does this hairstyle does have like a little bit of downside if you are somebody you do not like your hair shedding then I would not suggest this style because there's a ton of rubber bands in my hair right now and um, not that that's bad for the lock but I will say which also I'm taking a three strand lock out to show you how pretty it is look at that look at how pretty that is but I will say if you are somebody who's like really scared of your hair um, if you are somebody who is scared of your hair like having breakage on your locks especially on the dead ends the ones that have been locked for a while like I really wouldn't suggest this style um, I knew I would have to get some sort of like rubber band on the end so I wasn't really scared but overall um, I just know that I really don't mind a little bit of my hair kind of like coming out the rubber band because I have locks so they're locks they go lock till the day I either cut them all off and start again or whatnot but um, for the most part um, this is just kind of like your everyday two strand twist protective style but your locks are in it um, and so you got to think of it as like when you use fake hair in your lock when you use fake hair in your locks y'all literally unfocused when you use fake hair in your like natural hair when you're adding um you're adding hair for like a protective style you have to think of your locks in that way is just like instead of burning the ends of the hair instead of curling the ends of the hair you're just putting that rubber band so it holds but now i am just checking for any ones that i missed any ones that I missed y'all see that that's how it looks before I untwist all of them y'all I missed a ton of the two strand twist locks and I'll tell you why this hairstyle really is deceiving on thick hair so I have 143 locks and I've missed about seven two strand twists. So I just wanted to let y'all know. And there we go. And there you have it. Did I get them all? Yeah, I got them all. That's how it's looking y'all. It looks like I have bangs and everything but this is pretty much before i unravel all of them i kind of want them to unravel by themselves um that's just kind of how i'm feeling right now because i know um my hair is so thick that if i unravel all of these right now like it's gonna be you know just so much volume so i want to go ahead and leave them like this and just kind of have the ones that are kind of sticking up kind of go back down in there cap box cap off yes y'all this is day two of this hair it really is full and it's giving a 70s vibe which i did like i will say i didn't want to get water on this style just yet so i wore a shower cap and i just took it off once i got dressed and was ready but as you can see locks are still intact no breakage on the root and it's just so full and I really would recommend this hairstyle if you're looking for a protective like style on your locks. And here's some up close and personal footage. It does need to be washed, but I loved how it turned out, y'all. So pretty. Overall, it only took me about 45 minutes to take this style out and I am impressed with the outcome. For the most part, comment down below how you think it turned out. 
Okay, if you would get this style, would you get this style in your hair? I always wanna remind you to stay blessed and stay beautiful and be you. That's all you gotta do, okay? And drink your water, girl. I will see y'all on the next video and look, our hair is going up. There you have it. Bye.